is it for web page links and other multimedia content, giving you some different options for how you look at your attribute information. Mm. Didn't like that one. I guess you're just waiting for number one. So what is number one on the countdown list? I think it was pretty clear from the video that everybody wants us to focus on software quality. Every year, we do our best. With ArcGIS 9.3, we fix thousands of bugs, we optimize performance, and we improve stability. Can I demonstrate all of those improvements for you now in the next minute? Probably not. But what I can show you is one very significant improvement to try to eliminate some of those random crashes. What we've added is a new error reporting system. In the event of a crash, you will get a dialog that gives you the capability to automatically and anonymously report directly to the development team as to where in the software that crash occurred. So for the first time ever on our user conference stage, I would now like to purposely crash the software. <laughs> this is a custom button that you don't get. <laughs> but what this will do is simulate the crash, and this is the dialog you might see. You have a choice to send the error report or don't send it. But before you make that decision, I'd like to ask that you watch the video from the development team about what happens behind the scenes when you do send us the report. Hi, I'm Todd Stelmore, I'm the development lead for RGS 9.3. On the development team, we're constantly working at improving software quality and eliminating the random crashes that we know can be frustrating for you. One of the significant changes we made at RGIS 9.3 is the introduction of the crash reporting system. So what happens if the application does encounter a problem you see this dialog? First, we ask that you please send us the error report. The report will tell us the exact location in the software where the crash occurred. What happens next is quite an interesting process. When the crash report is sent to our development team, it's immediately compared against all other known issues to determine if this is a known problem. Just like when the police are scanning fingerprints looking for a match, we're scanning crash reports looking for known issues. If we find a match, then we mark it as occurring more frequently. If this is a new issue, the system automatically creates a new bug report, which is immediately sent to a development program. From the report, we're able to quickly determine the exact location where the crash occurred. Our programmers can then quickly determine the cause in many cases. If you're a user and you encounter a crash, please send us your feedback. If you're a developer writing your own code, we've also exposed our simple server, which will help you identify if your software is causing conflict with the core software and causing a crash. Our goal is to drastically reduce the amount of crashes of the past. The fixes will be rolled into service packs and releases as effectively as we can, but we need your feedback to help ensure quality releases now and in the future. Thank you for helping with this effort.